Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic for discussion is three most common medication classes for peptic ulcer. In today's discussion, we will learn use of these medications, generic names, interactions, and mechanism of action. Now first question comes in our mind is that what is peptic ulcer? Peptic ulcer is a sore that forms in the lining of the stomach or the small intestine. Common symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating, heartburn, nausea, and vomiting. Peptic ulcers can be caused by various factors, including infection with the bacteria Helicobacter pylori, long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen or aspirin, excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and stress. Here is the classification of peptic ulcer medicines. 1. H to receptor blockers or H to receptor antagonists, H to A letters, are a class of gastric acid suppressing agents frequently used in various gastric conditions. Key points to remember 1. Used for peptic ulcer and gastrointestinal reflux disease, 2. Common member, famotidine and Ranitidine 3 works by inhibiting H to receptor and block gastric acid secretion. 2. Proton pump inhibitors. These are a class of medications that cause a profound and prolonged reduction of stomach acid production. They do so by irreversibly inhibiting the stomach's H, K, T pace. Proton pump. They are the most potent inhibitors of acid secretion available. Key points to remember. 1. Commonly used as triple therapy for H. pylori eradication. 2. Common member. Dexlansoprazole and omeprazole. 3. May interact with CYP to C19 so it should be used with caution. While using clopidogrel. 3. Antacids. These are medicines that counteract or neutralize the acid in your stomach. To relieve indigestion and heartburn, key points to remember, 1. Can be aluminum, calcium or magnesium. 2. Quick relief of heartburn condition. Remember these about antacids, too much aluminum will cause. Constipation, too much calcium will cause milkalkali syndrome, too much magnesium will cause diarrhea. Question for today's discussion, what is triple therapy and which three drugs will be used? Comment below your answer. Thanks for your time and support. Stay connected with me to learn more interesting pharmacological studies. Must ask any question or confusion in comment box. Let me know which medicine information you want next. Thank you.